So this is one of the images I took um, at Saddle Mountain, Sawariwo Creek in the South Rupanuni. With the guys, we, we actually rode 154 miles an hour back in 11 days. Unbelievable place to ride a horse. Um, so giant town, uh, people in the wild. Never believe I'm an Indian guy when he's talking about distance. <laughs> because he would <didn't> say that. <laughs> Just in front of that mountain means that the mountain must get below behind you. When he says he's going to just in front of that mountain. <laughs> so um, oh, the guy was in, was, is the guy in front there and uh, was an unbelievable trip. This was done in the early 2000s. Um, next slide. We've taken many chances on our trips. Done a lot of crazy things, but always in a, in a manner that was, you're in control of what happened. So it means I got bushy as a friend broke a hand, not one had a foot injury, both sound. But you're always in control of what you're doing, you know? Um, and so, so as, a, as I went on these trips, um, I became a little more uh, interested in photography. Next. As everyone knows in Guyana, the place to go when you talk about nature is, is Kaichiro Falls. But I put this here because, to let everyone know that it's not just about only Kaichiro Falls. There's a lot of other places in Guyana that could be as, as amazing as Kaichiro Falls. Um, you just have to take the, take the chance of going in the interior. Um, <laughs> Next, the Rupanuni is one of the favorite places that I go to. It's probably the easiest place for all of us to get to. And so, this is more or less kind of like a road condition. I like to drive it in the night. Um, but you could drive the Rupanuni road from Georgetown to, to Letham and back as a photographer and have an unbelievable experience. Just to drive. So, a very good friend of mine and, and, and I, we went on a drive, we just drove like Saturday morning, like at midnight, Saturday morning, drive to Letham, and then drive back the next day. And the amount of images you could take on the road is unbelievable. You don't have to stay anywhere, you just go and turn around. Next. This is one of the images I would say you could, you, you could never ever put away a camera in the bush. In fact, my wife on, on this trip had told me that she's putting away my camera. <laughs> and I said, you cannot put away the camera because around the bend we'll probably see a Jaguar. <laughs> and around the bend we saw two Jaguars. <laughs> <laughs> this was like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Rain had just stopped falling and they didn't move. You know, it was just like, you will have to wait because we're in love. <laughs> so we got very close to them. Um, but you could imagine me trying to get it in focus, driving up the road, Bonita steering, my wife steering the vehicle, and I shooting the images through the, through the left window of the vehicle with a 400 zoom lens. I can't get myself to stay still enough to, to get the image clear. So a lot of times in the interior, uh, because I don't take tripods because you're trying to move light, you take things with free hands. So you now get the images that you would probably want for them to be absolutely perfect.